And we are live and now. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another session of Pathfinder with Epic and Friends. When we last left our adventurers off, they had begun traversing the dangerous, bloody, and cryptically occult Tam Terra Deep Croft. After seeing several of their people who they knew existed, acquaintances, things of that nature, uh, after being sacrificed on the bloody altar pits beneath and getting their first sight of one of their key targets in this endeavor, the intrepid adventuring group of the Agents of Mayhem solved a simple light puzzle and pushed onward to their first encounter with two individuals from Rowan's past. Jarrett and Ririon, Marcel's parents. After an intense firefight and a number of injuries on both sides, the Agents of Mayhem succeeded with no casualties. However, it seemed that Jarrett had some final words for Rowan, and after telling her to end him, gave her one last surprise in Echo. We return to our group. Rowan now crying, tears steaming off of her face as the party moves on. Rowan is taking deep, shaky breaths as she's trying to stand. Just tears. Just Ugly crap, basically. Zach's <laughs> just trying to calm Rowan down. She's patting her as soon. She's like rubbing her back until Rowan stands up because then she can't reach. Uh, what what happened, Rowan? I got pulled into a I saw them death. I saw who killed them. I saw what was responsible and why. And then um, I saw them all dead, and then they came here. And if the Wood Whalers that killed them were already dead, I would be searching them if we got out of here. Uh, wait, Wood Whalers? I. I'd hate to say for this to wait, but might have a bit of a time limit here. I'm not. I'm not asking for us to wait. We're no. going. I mean, we just should probably move. Uh. Racist bastard. Mm. That just. Looks kind of uncomfortable. I'm the best. I never done shit. Mm. But they were killed because they were best friends. They were better than it. They had the better shot. Let's go. We got one. Or is there just Jared's body? I, I'm not going to do anything. Works. Don't run off, please. Eh. Um. Also, sorry. Uh, out of character. Rowan, you're kind of uh cutting out a bit. Ah, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but that's it. 
I'll look for it after I put cat after I get cat to bed. I think it's on the desk. <laughs> um, to recap, while well, you guys did search the bodies of everything that was in here, um, the only thing that you found worthwhile, if you want to take it, you do find about five pounds of ghoul flesh. If you want to take that, and Rowan did indicate don't touch Jarrett's body. However, he does have a gold tooth laying on the ground. Um, their wep Rion and Jarrett's weapons, the moment they died, just kind of disappeared and evaporated into nothing. Okay. I was mainly asking because sometimes you, you get on our case for not looting. <laughs> <laughs> Their bodies have already been desecrated enough. Let's not. I mean, if you really want to make sure they don't get up again, there's... fire. Um... Is it echoing now? Uh, let's test see. one, two, nope. test one, two. No, you're good. Seems like it. Good. I just set it to automatic. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and now and then, but whatever. Fine. I'm looking into buying another headset soon, but I need curtains for my house first, so mm -hmm. I can wait. Likewise, I still need to grass and seed my backyard <clears throat> and put in a sprinkler system. <laughs> yeah, paying my mortgage for the first time was great. Just like <laughs> paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> Only not that much more expensive. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so, what are you guys doing in the room at this point? Kind of slowly advancing forward towards the big-ass crystal thing. Yep, I'm following along behind him. Uh, roll a perception on that color. Nice. Um, you realize <laughs> that it's actually... Not a big ass crystal thing that you're seeing. As you walk forward, it is a giant swirling mass of aether, very similar to the one that you got in here for. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Another portal? Looks like. What are these things up here in front of it, though? They're altars or coffins. Uh, Kato, with your natural 20, you walk up and you see there's a little plaque on the front of it, and it reads... It reads Jarrett Whisper Whale. It reads what? It reads Jarrett Whisper Whale. And the other two? Marcel Whisper Whale and Riverdion Whisper Whale. Uh, Rowan? Additionally, Kato, just because you got a natural 20, you <laughs> look into Jarrett and Marie Rion's. They appear to have been used rather frequently. Um, there's kind of indents in the whatnot. Also, you look inside and it's padded. It's basically they, these things have been made to be a bed, more or less. You go and look at uh, Marcel's, and it's never even been opened. Still concerning. What's concerning? One of these coffins has Marcel's name on it. They said they were down here. Maybe they were making him a place. Mm. Maybe to open it to make sure that the Marcel there is not a ghoul. No, he wouldn't be a goal. He couldn't be a goal. Is it open or closed? It's never been opened. Looks like it's never even been opened, so... It could have just been a family crypt. I don't see one for his little brother. I don't... 
I don't know what to tell you, Rowan. They probably weren't planning on bringing him along for a while. I don't know. Hey, little brother. Barely three years old. Even less than that. Like, it's two. Mm. This is a family trip. They may not have had the time to put in one for the little. Mm. Do you guys want to open it and, and look in? Just be, I'm not going to say anything. I, I think we already looked in. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't remember anybody saying they opened it. I thought Kato said it didn't look used, so. Eh. Well, I said it's never been opened. I never said oh. it was open. Yeah, I'm fucking open it then. <laughs> In the meantime, Fionn's just piling uh, gold bodies, and I'm hearing the echo. Yeah. I don't know. Rowan's gonna... There, I will be on push to talk. Okay. Rowan's gonna go over to Jared's body and she's just gonna set it aflame. Uh, alright. Do you, um, are you like lighting a match or are you just prestigitating? I'm just using my own ability, my, my own fire hands. Alright, you. Body goes up relatively easily. Doesn't seem like the clothing that he's been wearing has seen moisture in quite a long time aside from what was on his body and with his body essentially evaporating in nothing it goes up in smoke very easy and i'm gonna go and you're breaking up i'm gonna go burn riri <laughs> okay you go, do the, you go do the same thing to her um, I'm gonna open up Marcel's coffin. Okay, Dak. Um, it's about as tall as you are, so takes you a few seconds. You pry it open and kind of lift yourself up to look inside and roll a perception. What was that? Perception. I'm yeah. Guessing. You peer into it. It's empty. It's padded. There's a little pillow inside of it. Um, I mean, it looks like a coffin. There's nothing in here. It's like, kind of pushes the, the lid a little bit and tries to kind of climb in a little bit. Checks under the pillow. Um, you pull the pillow up. There's nothing under it. Leans it's a back. soft pillow. Means like, yep, there is nothing in here. So it's the pillow, and you're like, ooh, lavender. Be right back. Smells, smells like lavender, though. Then pulls herself down and closes the coffin up. Then this was just a crypt. Yeah. Family burial. Not he's okay. All right, shall we press on? I mean, that's all we can really do. Alright, so does anybody have- anybody else have any business in here that they want to take care of? Nope. Not that I know of. Yeah, all right. I'll just any dissipating bodies. I can open that in just one second, Pat. Who wants to go through the um, portal <laughs> first? Uh, not me. <laughs> um, where are tokens go? I drug. Oh, they're them. into the room. I drug them back so I could <laughs> grab them easily. When will we get back here? Uh, Ark moved us, I believe. Ah. Uh, Yes, I moved you so I could damn push and talk. I <laughs> grabbed Mark. them so I could gather you all up easily. Ah. Hmm. Uh. When it's jump the chance, I guess I'll go again. 
Okay, you're moving forward, works. Here's one I don't I know. Especially not my father. And I stepped through behind work. <laughs> yeah, I'll go after Rowan. Okay, so as the three of you go up, you get within about 10 feet of it and start to take your next step forward. And you feel your body kind of warp. And the next thing you know, you feel like this spaghettification happening as you go whoop and you disappear. Well, Kirk's cutting in and out is bad, almost as bad as Rowan does. Yeah, it's because push to talk. No, it wasn't because I've changed the sensitivity because remember your push to talk is getting annoying. Ah. Okay. So anyway, as you approach and get within about 10 feet of this thing, you take your next step and all three of you get start to get pulled in and your body start to undergo like spaghettification to everyone else. And you get jerked and yanked in, kind of rotating around the portal before you disappear. Mm -hmm. Well, that looked uncomfortable. Ah, well, here we go again. Jumps in. I think we're all, I think, uh, Fiona's AFK a little bit. Hmm. I will go ahead and say that Fion followed in. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow in. Has everybody followed it at this point? I believe so. so. Okay. You all basically pop down and you find yourselves in another large, empty space. You look around and you can see beams of light reflecting in all different angles off of different mirrors. And this time you can see three colored orbs sitting around the area. Each of them, two of them doing nothing currently, but one has a beam of light reflecting through it, causing a blue stream to appear across it. <sighs> Wonderful. More light puzzles. Could be worse. Uh, Dax gonna go up to one of the orbs and see if it's able to be moved at all. Okay. So, Dak, as you walk up to the orb and look at it, it's literally just an orb floating in the air. It's not spinning. It's not moving at all. And as you go to touch it to try to move it, you don't see any visible change in anything that's happening as you do so. Hmm. Well, it looks like they're stuck. So, that's fun. Okay, I'm just gonna push this mirror over to here. So, you want to move this mirror to here? Back. I'll go back. Here. To where it intersects the blue. Oh, and then welcome back. turn it towards the mirror, towards the big blue crystal. Okay. And then push that out of the way, back in the middle. I am legitimately wondering how the heck to get the green one over there. Is this orb on a pedestal? Yes. Emitter? Yes. Okay. 
Hey, Jack. Hmm? You can see my line, right? Well, we're supposed to get it to the crystal, though. I don't really see what's going on here. You have to move oh. the orb so they point towards a colored orb to make it a lighter color, and then color has to go towards crystal. Uh, yeah. Can I push this orb down? Give me a second, got it. So you're pushing this one down? Yeah. This aggression can also rotate. Doubtful. Check it. Can they rotate? As you're looking at that orb and trying to get it to do something, you recognize it. You can get it to rotate if you really want to. It will require a strength check. It doesn't look like it's supposed to do it. Mm. Better than not to break puzzle. That's the sort. Then gonna turn this mirror so it goes towards the crisp the green crystal. Then I'm guessing you want it to slid over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jack's just gonna watch watch them do their their work. They seem to be really interested in doing it, and she's just watching. See which way the light comes out of it for us, you guys. Do, do you not see the line coming out of it? There's no, like a nope. little tiny line. There we go. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to apparently click off the thing. <laughs> it was yeah. like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. I think the easy one is this one gets moved one. No, you can't move that forward without disrupting the thing. Thing. Wait, does that disrupt anything? No, it's like oh, if you move it there and it 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 up. one down to the, down to yeah, we're caught yeah. we're stinging it, stinging it right now. Yeah, that gets me down there, and you'd have to yeah, and then tour on to face the green crystal. <sighs> Stupid. The lines are really hard to uh, hit. By the <laughs> way, yeah. And then I would think we move this crystal right here. If you move it to the what? If you move it this direction, in no way that it always goes at that angle, so we can't do that. Uh, we I mean, move, we move this mirror to point towards up here. Yeah. No. I mean, Try. didn't. Didn't Ark say that, like, if we try really hard, we can move the crystal? I don't want to do that unless we really have to. Okay. I don't want to risk breaking the puzzle. True. Yeah. I'm trying to think. That's, like, the one left open, and we have to aim it at the red one. It all has to go on this angle. Oh. But we can move stuff. So, how about ping? Ping. Ping. Ping? That might be Ooh. possible. And of course I... Ping. Somebody oh. dropped. That was me. 
that the problem with doing it like that though is <coughs> because you have to spare me or to aim it. Well, hey. if if you can do on that at like ninety degree angles and stuff, then yeah, no, we can still hit the red crystal. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hold up, game. Keep in mind this mirror is still unused. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm thinking the red crystal's gonna go down here, so we have to like, yeah, angle I was... it like this. Can't see anything. Oh, let's move them so that Tyler's gonna move the mirror over one to there and the crystal over to there. And change the angle so it points up to there. So you want you want this mirror to be pointed in a different direction, right? Up towards there, yeah. You want to do something like this. Well, up one gonna move the mirror up. Uh, so up to there and then move that mirror and then or yeah, sorry, towards the second. bed. Yeah, then if that works, then you can just basically, and if it comes down here, you can basically shoot it off this and then to this mm -hmm. to get there. That's what I was assuming anyway. Yeah, just so every meal is used. Is that what you guys want to do? Yeah, you know, there is such a thing as a red herring, right? If this is entirely wrong, our fault. Yes. <laughs> Fion, Yedrin, and Rowan. Would you all be so kind as to roll a reflex check? Uh -oh. Same for, uh, Zinnia and Estelle. Mm. For Zinnia, Estelle is fine. Portal. Uh. Yeah, just roll a zoom real quick. Okay, so... Fion, Rowan, and Yedrin, you all feel a rumbling, and then you feel your body start to like be torn away from you. So you jump to the side as this whirling mass of aether opens directly in front of you. And as you're all jumping away and getting out of the way, Zinnia's like, well, and just is ripped through the aether away from you and disappears. Well, that's a thing. Um, Fionn's going to try to contact her through the ethereal, through their, uh, empathic loop. Okay. What do you say? Well, it's less what I say and more what I feel, and Fionn is naturally worried about Xenia's well-being. Do you feel confusion? And a little bit of fear. She's okay, just a little bit. One could only imagine. She got ripped through that portal already without even thinking about it. Then shall we follow suit? Uh, yeah. 
Uh, take one last look around to make sure we aren't missing anything, but... You know the crystals are... throbbing? Slightly? They're giving off this faint ethereal, ethereal energy. However, you recognize the crystals aren't aether crystals. At least not any time that kind that you're used to. Oh, well, I don't really see that we're missing anything except these crystals on Usually. We can study them another time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jumps through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that goes through too. Carol uh, jumps as well. And with that, we'll be right back again. Yep, yeah, go through. Cool. As all of you head through, you find yourselves standing in a strange chamber. You arrive looking around. Uh, Fiona immediately reunited with Zinnia, who hadn't moved. It's dark for the most part. And the only, but you do see lights coming off immediately to your left. However, as you look straight ahead, you can see that the chasm continues onward, heading deeper in. Though you see basically lit up in the distance another chamber with a small orb covered in various glyphs just kind of resting very faintly in the air, a large tomb underneath it. Kato. Mm hmm. If you would be so kind, since you are. You would know this. Roll a knowledge arcana. Okay, just one second while I pull up my sheet, because I didn't have that open yet. If your knowledge arcana is bad, you are welcome to roll a knowledge of local. My local is worse, so... <laughs> Alright, Kata, you look at the globe and you recognize a number of astrologian symbols. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. I'm gonna walk over towards the globe and look at it closer. Okay. Uh, this is the globe, by the way. Alright, so you approach- How close it. can I get to it? It's about- I... it's about 10 feet off the ground, with the tomb itself being another 10 feet off the ground, so it's about 20 feet up in the air. Okay. Um, but you can approach all the way up to the edge of the tomb without much issue. Not sure if I want to get close to get a better look, or stay back here and far away. Um, roll perception as you try to investigate it. Okay. You look up and the runes and the symbols carved into it are very old, uh, basically no longer accounting for the changes in dialects and new words that came into the Charlayan uh, lexicon. And as you're sitting there looking over it, you can read like every other word, but it's very foreign to you. So you're getting things like blank constellations, 
rising from the river, falling to the depths. I cast Comprehend Languages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're sitting there and you're, it takes you... It would take you the better part of five minutes to translate the entirety of this properly. Just because it's because of the way it's shaped and getting it, you know. Yeah. It's written on an orb. It would take you a minute. <laughs> uh, but when you're finally done, it reads, The dark constellations cannot be lost. They are scribed upon the skin and the depths of my hate. Written upon the stars themselves, they cannot fall into the dark river of time, nor can they fade into the sand. They must be shared. They must continue. Charlet cannot destroy that which is, which has been authored. Charlet cannot succeed. Charlet will pay. Can you type that out for me? <laughs> it's a lot of words. Oh, no shit, it took you five minutes to fucking translate. Shh. What's everyone else doing while I'm typing this? Uh, Dex is going to basically be sticking with scotch and taking a small walk around to look and see what the hell's around here. Why don't we second your deck because she's a light source? Okay, roll a perception as you get Beyond's it. going to... Beyond's going to follow deck. No one's going to cast light on her staff and go over in this direction. Oh, there's a wall. Um, deck, as you walk up closer, you quickly note that there is writing on the two pillars next to you. I'm gonna go over here and look at this pillar. Okay. There is a single word inscribed at the base underneath a bright red orb. Okay. Is it a word I'd understand or um roll of knowledge history. Okay. Ugh. Can I join? Um, you may make the attempt, yes. You don't understand the word, Dak, though you do recognize it as Charlan. Fiona, you know the word as Ash in Charlan. Fiona's going to detect magic on it. Okay, there's a faint hum of magic. I really need to study more. Uh, you recognize it as a trigger word, Fionn, and it seems to be connected to a some sort of ritual. Additionally, you do recognize that if you were to say the word, it would activate, it would probably not behoove anybody to be standing near it during. He's all like the friends. Be careful around them. Oh. Uh, I unfortunately can't read any of them. Well, don't try to for now. Oh, I mean, of course. Uh, um, well, it might be good to know what the words are. Once I'm finished with this, I will come look at those. Alright. Not the same, but there you go, Kyle. Okay. Thanks. Um, so you're, you went to one of the other pillars, Jack? Yeah, I'm gonna head over to this blue one and just kinda look it over. Okay. You okay. see that there's another 
ward at the base. Rowan, you can see the ward at the um, base of the one that you're at as well. I was just going to go clockwise and look at each of them. Okay, roll perception. <laughs> you're not even seeing the words, Kato. You're like... <laughs> Where you're like they? still musing over what, like, over what you just read. You're like, what does that mean? Can I take <laughs> ten then? <laughs> I'm gonna say the one sticks for now. No. Oh. Uh, Rowan, with your knowledge history, you know that the uh, and something you're studying that you've gone under with uh, in Gridania and your upbringing, you recognize the word is Charlayan, and you read it as Dissolve. Okay. Do I know? Alright, so I'm going to not say anything only because of what... Go ahead and write whatever words you find down for me. Alright, so I pull out my grimoire and I open up the page and write down Dissolve. Mm. Question, um, do I see that, like, they're matching pillars? At this point, yeah, you can see that because they're giving off light, you can see that, mm -hmm. like, if you go across that they match with one another. Mm -hmm. Well, there's two pillars of each, so uh, probably best to identify them and get the heck away. Baron is trying to chase, trace if there's any uh, connections between the pillars. With a tech magic. I mean, you look at one pillar and you look at the other one, and they seem to just like make a faint connector. Like they complete a set. All right. I would advise not standing between and the paired pillar. Um, you don't know what that one says, Rowan, however, you do see that the word is in the exact same spot. Mm -hmm. Jonas, going to check the opposite one. Okay. It takes you a second, Fionn, but because of your higher proximity to Charlay and probably more time conversing with them, you read that one as um, Oop. lost Kato there for a sec, I guess. No, nope, still gone. Kato seems to exist. You read that one <laughs> as channel. So let's see. We have. Ash is the red one, Channel is the gray one. She's not saying these out loud, is she? <laughs> or... She's saying them in decidedly not old Charlian. Okay. <laughs> uh, regardless, as she does say them, Works and Kato, please make a reflex. And oh, Dak as well. Oh no! <laughs> and that's why I stayed in back. That's why I was asking you saying this. Oh no. Uh, you said reflex? Yep. Woof. What was that number? Uh, I'm 13. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Ark. Oh, I thought. I was just assuming it used the normal rules for command words where it had to be a specific dialect. No, these are just, these are just taking the word regardless. Woof. Wish I knew about that beforehand. Well, adventuring. <laughs> Uh, works. What is your total roll? Twenty-seven. All uh, right, you are fine. You jump out of the way. So what happened while my Discord was acting up? Kind of only... roll a reflex. Shit. Feel mumbled to herself. Okay, Kato, you jump to safety. Uh, 
Duck. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Dag, please take five points of fire damage. Oh, oh, fire damage? Okay. Yes. Uh, I have fire resistance ten. Okay, then you don't take any damage. <laughs> Can I go? Oh, ah, 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 okay. That's warm. Yeah. Um. The, I like activating even with twelve above. Nobody say anything if in any language about the glyphs. Yeah, probably a good, good idea. No bother. In a knowledge history to see if I have heard anything about dark constellations. However, at this point, you all watch as a cross of electricity and fire forms across the uh, the tomb in front, causing the orb to light up in blue and red and start to spin. Oh dear. Oh. We should get back. I don't like this at all. They still an off switch. Tack backs the heck up. That's not how magic works, hon. Nonetheless, yeah. Fionn quickly says channel again as she gets away. You were saying, Kato? Okay. Uh, Ash? Okay, that's good. That's better. Much better. Apparently there was an off switch. Uh, I was somewhat worried and that there might be a certain order they have to be activated in, and if we don't, we all get blown up. Well, if you're standing in the middle of the dang lane when they're activated, you get blown up. So what's the one here in the... Which one are you looking at? The yellow one? No, the blue... I I'm actually going to head up to the blue one in the far... Um, in this corner over here. Okay. Because it seems like they're they're in pairs. I can't <laughs> be able to read it, but I'm going to try. Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> no! That was not 20 on mine. No, that was natural 20 on Kato's. Close she got a 19, one. though. Uh, Rowan, you go and look at that one. And as you read that one, it reads Bifrost. Hmm. Um. So Rowan writes down in her, in her grimoire next to the one for the yellow one. And then I'm going to go over to Fionn and show her my words. And Kato, what were uh, what were you percepting? Looking at the word on this pillar. Um, well, you haven't said it. You can see the pillar. You see where the word is. It's where all the other ones are. You do know that this one is a very sickly yellow coloration, where the one in the the two in the center were like a bright orange with some burnt portions. Um, do you recognize it very slightly, but you don't know what it says? Well, I still have to comprehend languages, though. Ask for oh, any minute. Oh, then know it's dissolved. Okay. Fionn nods to Rowan and produces a quill to write the glyph she identified as well. So, basically, we're going to map it out and we're going to them match the pairs. You can't cut. 
What'd you say? You keep cutting out. <laughs> yeah, you just cut out with me there too. So I'm. No, Did I? I'm, yeah. yeah. That's why I started laughing. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kato is going to. While Kato's doing whatever he's doing, Fiona and I are going to do a rough draft of the area with the with the orbs and the names that we came up with. I'm going to have a uh, scotch scout a little bit down to the south here. And I'm going to restart my Discord. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. um, Kato scotch... wrote down what he had found on the orb, so... Right. As scotch starts heading down that way, Dak... Mm -hmm. um, he sees it goes on for a while. Okay. Um, like, possibly another mile or two. Yeah, just be standing behind the pillow for there to sort of the scotch. Wait, where are you? He's I'm just down there with, like, Estella and the baby. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I, I was just wondering, because it's like, oh, okay, so it goes down. Oh, it goes around, okay. Yeah. So sort of just sort of standing in safety because I understood magic bullshit was happening, can't help much, but didn't want to get blown up. Um, Deck Scotch also tells you that while based on the map that's in front of you, while mm -hmm. north kinda continues on a little bit and then stops, there's nothing further south and there's nothing to your east, but west goes extends quite a far bit out on where you came in. Okay. I think a prudent course of action might be to step outside of this area and say each word to see what... We know one does fire and one does lightning, but we don't know what the other two do. I wouldn't be turning them all on without knowing if there's a proper order or not. We're not gonna turn. We're not gonna turn them all on. We're gonna turn them on one at a time. And then turn them back off. Yes. Hey. Okay. Yes. Uh, quick question. Um, I noticed the uh, glyphs are like A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Um, it does that correspond to how they're written in Old Charlene? Sure. Or is that just... Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's say it's still using the Aorzean alphabet. Okay. I mean, probably fair. <sighs> what is the... Nah, that would be kind of weird. No, go ahead. What is it? I mean, the, the way the... What is it? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's weird, but I'm thinking like fade away is like is my is the yellow orb kind of like alternate words and what he was saying in the the inscription on the tomb. Mm -hmm. The dark constellations cannot be lost. They are written in the canvas of the sky, and it's like cannot be fa cannot fade away or be destroyed. So thinking like the uh, the yellow orb and then the burning orb, kind of in like taking just into account just that glyph to see if we would want to do it in kind of like that manner. Do you know what I'm getting at? I mean, I, I understand, but that's if the party does. That's what I was basically asking. <laughs> well, I mean, how, did, did Kato even tell us what the heck it said? <laughs> oh, I, uh, I wrote it down and he's sharing his notes. Oh, okay. So it's just going to recite the other two words. So you're gonna say First, dissolve. dissolve. Gonna dissolve and then turn it on and off. I See what tell happens. you it's going to be acid in the fall. Ice. Well, we going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> Angles 
then turn that one off. And the other one. You guys can see those, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the second. It's like a one. It's like a quick animation, but yeah, that was definitely an acid effect. I saw one. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately they don't stick around. Yeah, it'd be nice if they did. That'd be funky. Yeah. But yeah, the, basically you see these bolts of frost and acid come along and then they just vanish. Hmm. Oh, if Written to the canvas of the sky. Well, here's the question for you there, then. What's more likely to be associated with the sky by them? Ice or light? lightning? Lightning. So that would be the middle one. As it would be fade, destroyed, fire, but, but that doesn't seem quite right. So he's going to start with channel. Okay. You say channel and the lightning comes back up. By frost. Why are you going for the ice one right off? Enshrined. Enshrined could be like frozen in time. Yeah, but so many parts of it. I I ice. Yeah, the problem is there's so many parts of it. Well, we're not gonna figure it out if we don't give it a try now, are we? Well, in this True. case, hides all the way behind the pillar. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw lines. <laughs> <laughs> Then dissolve. Oh yeah, dissolve fade. Better to burn out than to fade away. <clears throat> then ash. Oh, okay. Now I'm assuming Film you didn't turn any of these off standard. while uh, this was going on, right? No. So that okay. So. During this time, as you've said every word, the orb has started to spin very slightly, the various letters on it beginning to glow. And as it rotates and all of them activate, it spins and lifts up and then all of them turn off at once. Well, that wasn't right. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> and as it continues to spin and glimmer, the runes kind of push outward and the orb vanishes. Taking with it the light source that was there. Then you start to see this green essence lift itself up out of the tomb. The tomb itself beginning to give off light as it does this. Oh, we summoned a monster. And then there's this overbearing silence. And then you hear... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I can't tell if they're gasping for air or screaming. And then yes. at the next second you look and you see this dark ethereal figure start to lift up. Bright green hands glimmering with constellations as it looks around and then it turns towards you, Kato, and looks over everybody. <gasps> and you finally get a glimpse of its face. And half of it is nothing but a skeleton. Its eye sockets glittering with stars as it gazes at you. And the other half, in a half state of decomposition, but frozen, long, gangly bits of dark hair coming out one bright red eye staring at you is paper like pale skin looks at you the two-faced half of it coming across the lips peeled back and showing teeth and it goes <gasps> accursed one do not initiative. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah, I saw that coming. I was gonna say... Hang on, let me turn the thing on. I, want I to probably don't have time to drink uh, the coffee juice. So. I wanted to turn my fly on. Do you do quickly note that he's at the height that the, uh, or this individual or whatever the hell this thing is, is floating at the height that the, uh, orb was at. Mm-hmm. How high was it? So he's for not he's twenty down. feet off the ground. Oh, funny. Why must you keep everything just out of my reach? <laughs> because fuck you and your reach. What did so, so basically I said was right. By your powers combined, I am Captain Fuck Yo Shit. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, do you do you remember I gave you all a blessed potion, at least the melee peoples? Yeah, I have it I already said I have it in my hands as soon as I started teaching the casping. I think it's something like this is gonna happen, but I don't think I had time to drink before initiative. Yeah. Wait, do we drink it or apply it to our weapon? Either which way, it's still a standard action, and then it takes another, like, a move action to get it out of your bag. Uh, is it playing Robin Chief? I see Theon, Kato, Yedrin, Works, Dak, Rowan. Oh, and there it goes. What's up? It disappeared off my screen. Oh, that, that's my fault. Yeah. I don't think we missed anyone unless you have hidden enemies. Okay. Well. Do, 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 do. To open up, he holds his hands up, and you start to see dust flutter around the arena. And I think almost immediately, these two creatures come out shambling from the other side. Both of them rolled a 25 on their initiative. Jesus. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course, I'm nowhere near anything. None of us are. Okay. I'm safe. The first one holds up its hands. And you hear. <laughs> And you see these four creatures just 
lift up out of the ground. Basically perfect humanoids made out of dust and sand, all just kind of... Summons that summon, that's sheep. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. I don't even want to know when, he, when the DM says that. Yeah. You see the other one do the exact same thing. Oh, come on. I was saying sweet Jesus because they can summon 1d4 and I rolled a 4 for both of them. Arc dice. Yep. It's going to be this kind of night. Yeah. I was to say, it's arc dice as usual. Alright, Rowan. <laughs> Why? Why did I have to? Oh. How are they? They both sidle up. Actually, I can't even see anybody. There's nobody near me, is there? I mean, no, You're they're, near they're all... Now. They're all near, like, the middle pillars. I was like, that got bright. Okay. Well, uh, he's in range, so... Who are you blasting? Uh, just... Beast or... Beast? How come I can't make mine... ...ding? Are you in, like, a touch screen or something? No, I'm using... This guy? You pull out, and then you, uh, right-click, and then you can just... Go, what the fuck? But it's it's gotta be on the, like, the line thingy. If she's trying to ping, she might be trying to... You have to hold down the left mouse button to ping, while you have the... the thing that lets you move your token selected. Yeah. It might not work quite right on laptops or touch screens. Mm. I can use a laptop. Alright, so basically the one north of me. This I'm one? Just a, yes, that there's one in the there's one in the shadows there. I can't see that. That no. one. Okay. Well you'll see it when they light up. <laughs> well, there's nobody standing there. Okay, so... And, um, add, actually add, uh, three for my dragon and two for my, uh, cloak. Okay. So that's 30. <laughs> you hurl the fireball, and as it explodes, you watch as all the dust and everything else just goes poof and splatters everywhere. You see them disappear, and then... As the dust, quote unquote, settles, they just pull themselves back together. Now just a little black. Ignore the small fry. Got it. So kill the summoner of the summon? Yep. At that point, you see the thing in the center clap his hands. And I'm just gonna use this as a tent for now. And this orb surrounds him. Deck. An orb of what? Just an orb of energy. Ah. Um, no, I can't do those. That's 
better. Oh, we lost the field. No, I still see what? her. We lost Kato. Kato. Oh, we lost Kato. My bad. Um. I'm here. Yeah, roll 20. Yeah, roll 20. Um. The fuck? Dex's gonna take a note from Rowan's book and target this one, the right, uh, dust dude. Mm hmm. Guess fireball. God, those ones. Am I back? You're back now. You're back. Yeah, natural one on his save. <laughs> so as the fireball comes in, that was just a whoosh. You kind of <laughs> just gasps at you. <sighs> Would you not? Works. Dex gonna be here. So I'm, I'm gonna take my uh my, my my full turn to do the yeah. whole potion thing. Okay. So that that will probably that is my full turn, right? Take it out and drink it, I believe. Yeah. 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 Uh, as soon as Works is done with his turn, you hear the creature go. No shoot! The frost! Is he shouting? <laughs> A wall of ice cuts the arena in half. He set off the by by frost. Mm-hmm. By frost. Oh, hi, Thor. <laughs> yeah. Since I already have one, I only have the potion out standard to apply it. Swift action just to activate one of my stances. <laughs> it is and. And I'm just trying to figure out which way to move. I think, I think I'll start moving up to behind everyone, but staying to the darkness. Okay. Right there. You cut off while Yedrin's moving, what are you doing? <sighs> Oh, jeez. Um... Uh, there's a guy right there, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Uh, go up, and... Okay, that confirms. <laughs> You hit it and the dust flies everywhere. Then as you're like standing there, yeah, I did that. It just reforms and it's staring at you. Go for the bigger ones. I was trying to cut a path through. Fionn? What well, that I can do. Way. Fionn runs a hand over her grimoire and creates forth a massive wall of ice. Uh, which direction? That I am just about to draw. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... You can't get through the blue line, Hunt. Uh, I was just looking at stuff. Uh, they were out of the range anyway, I think. Okay. You make a wall of ice. Let me measure out see what the full extent is. Oh, 
Hold on. Things get got weird with uh, the browser. You just want to like straight line through the thing? Yeah, I'll just draw it out now. Okay, so you want 90 feet that way. Anything else? That's pretty much the limit of my reach, so. Okay. <laughs> and. In the interim, did Estella hear any of the discussion that was going on about the uh, runes? I would assume. In that case, she's going to move her distance and call out at. Okay. As soon as she does so, there is a bolt of fire that goes forward, hits the dome that's around the creature, and then boom, splits around it and veers to the other end. So you just now have a wall of fire there that is... Actually, you wouldn't even be able to see that that's going on. You've completely nullified your ability to see in there. Bit of a problem. Because there's a wall of ice that way, and there's a wall of fire that way, and then you made another wall of ice, so you can't see inside anymore. So. Oh, that's, that's my problem. At least someone else can turn off the ash fire. <laughs> wouldn't the fire turn up? Wouldn't the fire melt the ice wall? Only at that brief intersection. Yep. Oh god. There you go. No more light for you. Oh. That's not good. I sent so many mistakes were made. Uh is that your turn for you? That is my turn. Okay. Unless I saw I can say Ash again, but Speaking is a free action. Okay, so he says it again. Okay. And turns off. I assumed it was a standard action activating command word, but... Well, that's why. That's how he got away with an extra action. Good point. Uh... Okay, it's gone. Why don't we just turn them... <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Turn them all on. Kato, what is your CMD, my friend? Uh, currently 22. Cool. The creature in front of you kind of <gasps> lunges at you and tries to wrap its arms around you. Oh god, it's a ray dead. Oh no! <laughs> Those are things of my nightmares. Diddly? Diddly? No. <laughs> you just see dust forming up, coming through the ice wall and fluttering through the barrier.
<clears throat> Rowan. Oh, Rowan's gonna hide now. <laughs> um, you watched one come through the ice wall completely got affected. Just like, <clears throat> fuck that thing. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. What if we try to wash it away? It's only Wait. Up. Through the ice wall? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it basically, it just walks through it. Fionn's ice wall? Uh, no. both of them. Oh, right. Um, Fionn's ice wall is solid ice. It turned into dust. <laughs> I was gonna say it dusted itself. So it went it over would it still then. need it. It went over, under it, and through little cracks. Well, under, I imagine, wouldn't work, but over. Oh, right. But okay, yeah, Rowan. I'm gonna say Bifrost and try to turn off the Bifrost one. Okay, one second. Well, actually, our gate wouldn't be able to go through. Why? Its surface must be smooth and unbroken when created. Then it went over. I was gonna say, it still go over. <laughs> It can go over or it can go under. I mean, it can most likely go under because of the dirt. Well, either way, it's at least 10 feet high, so I'll probably use a lot of its movement for that. Alright. Well, if I can't burn it, maybe we can... Find something else to burn. Oh, I'm sorry, Fiona. I think I deleted your ice wall. Well, it's about as useful as... Fuck, I don't know. Something useless. Me? There you go. I'll put it back. No. You're more useful than my ice wall right now. It's about as useless as Tatar's carbuncle. Oh. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, about as useless as we own, it's Carbuncle. <laughs> Kirby! God damn it, Kirby, quit being so cute! Rowan is thinking... ...that she really hates her laptop right now. And everything went black. I found that my computer does it every now and then. I don't know what it is. Ah! Owen's gonna hold her turn for a moment. Okay. And I can't see him. Encore, stop trying to break the door down. <laughs> At that point, the hall. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't have that. Oh well. This one. Yay! Why should I pull that spell into my sheet? Why does it look like noses in there? <laughs> That's what I thought! They are noses! They look like noses to me. Oh, why is it coming near me and why is it green? What <laughs> shit! None! DISSOLVE! Fionn cast uses a counter spell, uh, exploit. Okay. Uh... Do we'll I have to roll against that? Um, I have to roll, and it's... Versus 10 plus the character's caster level plus something, let me... So it should be... 5 plus 11 plus 10? 
because I'm guessing the spell plus its caster level plus uh, ten. Let me pull up the counter spell rules. Uh... Sorry, I should have these memorized, but I don't because nope, it never comes up. Doo -doo -doo. To use a counter spell, you must select an opponent as the target of the counter spell. You can do this by choosing to ready an action. In doing so, you elect to wait your complete to complete your action until your opponent tries to cast a spell. You may still move at normal pace since ready is a standard action. If the target of your counter spell tries to cast a spell, make a spellcraft check DC 15 plus the spell's level. Spell oh right, you do. Action. Um, my spellcraft is. 19. Do I really have to roll? Uh, yeah. But Fine. Okay, it's a 25. Is that good? Yeah, it fizzles out. Hold on before my cat destroys my door. <laughs> Dak. I will not be denied! Meow, meow, meow! Love me human. Essentially. What's up? <laughs> it's just like love me human. Essentially. Um. Except more demonic. I have to make a spell check when I'm using yeah. counter spell exploit. So that is DC plus eleven plus the spell's caster level. DC eleven, rather. Yeah. And I'm guessing the 27 beat that. Yep. Okay. So, do, do you still have to ready an action before that? Oh uh, no, the exploit allows me to do it as an immediate action. Cool. Alright. I'm guessing okay. it's limited, though. Um. Yeah, I just burned my, a point of my arcane res. Okay. So, yeah, Dak. The middle ones were channel, right? Shouts that. Trying to turn them on. Okay, so you shot channel. Channel, yes. I mean, just asking if that was what it was would have. Yeah, that was exactly my point. <laughs> Zorch. Someone's having a bad day. As you say, so if one of that gives off light. Mm. You hear a faint <laughs> off in the distance, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Damn. You're hoping to electrocute the damn thing. By cheating. Um, I'm going to use a turn of my fly, so that's my turn. Or a I minute of my fly. I'm just going to pop in um, and... By the way, Dak, hmm? as you do that, as you start to say the word, it points its finger at you. I have to sniff! And you just see these bolts of magic energy start flying toward you. Uh-oh. So... Okay. Do I have enough time to zip away? No, you couldn't avoid it if you tried. Okay. Uh, if it's magic missile, too bad you don't have the shield spell up. Please take 18 points of damage from a magic missile. Ow! <laughs> just five of them just hit you. Is it 18? Yep. Well, Dak's gonna go up in the air about 30 feet. Or, yeah, no, 30 feet, because she's got a bunch of move on that now. Alright. The birds come with her. Okay, so all of you are 30 feet in the air. Yeah. Did you cast anything? Uh, oh, I cast, cast a fly. fly, that's a standard. Alright, works. And before anyone asks, you use a quick and magic missile. I figured. Uh, did Rowan go, or is she still holding? Um, Rowan's going to... Rowan would, but the... the... 
You're cutting in there really bad. I don't know why. I was on the scene with freaking Durza for four hours today with no issues. <laughs> Someone else using internet right now? Well, it's the internet everybody else that he's been using all day. Well, it is like peak hours, that might be why. Oh shit, I didn't want to cast it, I wanted to- Um, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna pull a DAC. I'm gonna fly. Okay. <laughs> Lift yourself up into the air. It's a good thing I didn't want to use that anyway. How the hell did that roll a one? Uh, yeah, it you doesn't have a it. die on it. Yeah, you didn't set the die on it yet. It wouldn't let me drag it, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll just manual. Alright. I'll just try to drag it again. So, Rowan, you're up in the air? I'm up in the air. Works. Me and my baby. Well, I can, um... Like, do you guys see any of them? Because I can't see Jack. I think I see one all the way to the north uh, west. Anything closer? Yeah. No. That's why I asked the, the lightning gate off the light, considering it's lightning. Hold up. I hate this sporadic- I hate this sporadic chatterness. I can't really assign light to a line. <laughs> oh well. Where all can you see out to works? I can see like all in here. A little bit this way, and then like up in here. Like I can yeah, see over here. Like I can like see this. over Sorry. here. Yeah, the but I can't see this. And how they walk. Yeah, there's like a diamond here of darkness. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. much intentional. I know. I know there's some guys to the north of us. Psst, I can't see Jack fuck up there. And knowing my luck, I want to be in, the, in between three of them. Just make sure you stay in, in sight of the, uh, the runes in case he tries to activate them. Yep. Move here? Man, doesn't that kill any of those shadows? And we're going to attack this one. Okay. You throw your spear at it. It goes through and there's just this hole of dust in the center of it. It just refills. I keep telling you, go for the big ones. I can't hit the big one. Yeah, Jordan. One, get closer. That's as far as I can move. <laughs> um... I can, I can only really move and save my standard action for something else in case I need it, so... Okay. Well, oh, while I you move, Kata, what are you doing? I'm gonna try and get around this guy. Okay. Doesn't do anything. Just... <laughs> Okay, and then, let's see, did I put buffs? Okay. 
I'm gonna cast Bold Strength on myself. And that's it. Yep. Pion? Huh? Oh! Sorry, I didn't hear it was my turn. It's okay, Ark is a little quiet. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Under the circumstances, since Kato's rushed ahead, Fion is going to dismiss her ice wall and quickly return with the other. Okay. Just crashes to the ground. Bloody hells. Estella, meanwhile, goes to forward with works. Okay. Um, Fionn, just out of curiosity, do you still have your standard? I, or does dismissing something cost standard? Dismissal is a standard action in Path. Where is Yedrin? In the back? All the way in the back. Yeah, I've been like moving up. It's just taking out. I can barely see him there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, hard as hell to see. Yeah, it's hard as hell to see, see where to move sometimes, too. Yeah, uh, at which point? <laughs> Uh, what is Estella's CMD? Estella's CMD is... Well, she's flying, so it's... Oh, right. she's up in the air right now? Then, never mind. It's just standing beneath her. She flips at the bird as a free action. Okay, no, not really. Do it. Don't be a coward, do it. Okay, uh, fine, it's is... Ashkin, so she does. What is uh, your Sandy Kata? Uh, 22 still? It just no, no, it's, it's 24. It still it gets you, it wraps itself around you and just clutches. Just puts its face near yours. It's just dust opening like the scene from The Mummy. God. Do you mind? Meanwhile, as you are now grappled, this one comes over behind you. Damn, what is a uh, grapple condition inflicts? Not helpless, but. Um. There's a uh, condition in the stats that'll apply what. Mm. What's effect? Minus two to all attack rolls, combat maneuvers, minus four penalty to dexterity. Mm. Mm. Gotcha. Kava, do you have it turned? Yeah. Okay. Q. Almost a natural 20, but it was not. Kato, does 18 <laughs> hit you? Does a what hit 18 me? hit you while you're grappled. No, it does not. <laughs> it goes to bite at you, but it gets nowhere. Oh, I know you did not just try and bite me. Swipes with its claws. 
gets nowhere. Just pinging off the chest piece. Pretty much. It couldn't take the claw attacks, I just said it tried. You're muted. I know. Um, I was actually coughing, so I didn't want to cough in anybody's ear. Oh, okay. okay. That's Hold fine. Try my lightning bolt again. Fuck. Oh. Uh, what are you trying to I, hit? I was going for the one in the white square to the top northeast, northwest of me. Okay. Since I can't oh, dig. 46? Yeah, Caster yeah, level should be 10. Or 9. Oh, then I apologize. I will change that. Yes, it should be 9. <laughs> so I'll just roll another four, uh, another roll. 5. 5, eight, 6. And I will roll a reflex. Mm, 24. So, yeah, that makes that save. So... Eleven damage. Divided Five. by two. Twenty-two divided by two. Eleven. So eleven. The bolt hit like hits it and it hits its leg and you see dust fly everywhere for a second and kind of reform back, but now charred and it goes. Does that's the other two? Huh? It's a line. It goes through them. There's. <laughs> And then they just reform as if nothing happened. I wish I had at least temporary but, inconvenience. But the, wait, 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 wait. But the, the, the guy... The, the okay, guy. I thought you shot the other one. I thought you were hitting that one. I'm not hitting the one over by Kato. I'm hitting the one that's moving um, over toward us. So you're shooting the one I have the ruler at right now, right? Exactly. Okay, so, yeah, I mean... If it's in the line that I just did, it didn't touch the other two regardless. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I guess not. No, I actually, to be honest, I didn't even see anybody else there. <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to move five, uh, take a five foot step forward. Okay. Yeah, I honestly didn't know anybody else was there. I can't see there. Yeah, they're a little hard to see. But the way the guy did actually take physical damage, he did, he reformed, showing damage, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. At that point, the thing in the ball just like rolls its one eye, and a burning spear appears in its finger. And he goes darting forward out of the orb. And he is going to plant it. So it catches. Fion counter spells. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. It fizzles out and he just kind of. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Thank the twelve I learned how to do. Yeah, really glad you could. For Let's real. Let's see. Okay, going to move. Oh. Where's that? Over there. Going to move the trio over here, still 30 feet in the air. If you have. Yeah? How many more Magus points do you have? I have two more Arcanist Reservoir points. Okay. Hmm. Get the 
look. Oh, lovely. I'm going to channel for like hurting the the things. Okay. Oh, I channel. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. So it would be a will save to resist that. I believe. Ten plus heifer. No, uh, class so, level. thirty-four to resist. Mother. So the thing in the back just brushes it off. Just <clears throat> the other two get hit. There's a light that shines on them, and they're completely unaffected. That's aggravating. In character, of course. And I love you, Encore. I love you so much, but Daddy is busy. And sorry, Kato, if this hurts. I'm going to have Scotch try and ping at the thingy, at the dude. Okay, so hit, miss, miss, hit. Geez, Scotch, roll better. Hey, Eric. Yeah? Um, since these things are clearly not normal Ashkin, um, is it possible I could roll knowledge to identify them? Yeah. Which one? Which one do you want to try to do? Fuck it, play. Um, yeah, that works. I mean, you know enough that everything on the field right now, with the exception of the guy in the bubble, is a combination of an Air and Earth, extra planar, undead. That is truly sick. So, can we hurt them or not? Uh, with your knowledge, Fio, you get that these things are made of dust. Well, like they're they are extra planar, right? Uh, yeah. Them. Okay, I'll try my best. Okay, moving. Works. So, can these things be killed, or am I wasting my time? The little ones, no. The medium one can be. I heard it. Okay. Uh, charges to be a straight line, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you'd probably hit this guy. Yep. Nope, not necessarily. Ha ha! You can't charge <laughs> like that. He's no, got no, a range. No, I, I, I have ten foot reach. You still have to double move to get that far, fool. Charge is a double move. In a straight line. Yeah. But that worked? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, it's within my range. Actually, that yeah. would go through another one. What is it? Uh, what it? Could do this. Uh, hold on, I have to shut. I have to see, you're going through the other one square. <laughs> yeah, we there. can't see it, though. Oh, for the love of Christ. All right. Move what about here. this one? Here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you move, you don't have to move, you move that feet. direction if you like. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and... Uh, I, know, I know my prize is a lot. Power attack off a of charge, yes or no? Yes, you can do that. Yes. yes. Yes, Whoa. you can confirm. Oh, oh yes! Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> you come in, works, and you swing, and as you go in and hit this thing, your spear kind of starts to rotate a little and gives off heat. And you pull it up, and it just, <laughs> and it just 
falls to the ground in a pile of dust. <laughs> well, that was cool of me. I told you to hit them. See? Yeah, Jordan. I did. You did good. I'm gonna hold on top of Fion because the only thing I can't hit is unkillable and I need a lot more speed to hit the thing I want to hit. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's actually a good use of spells or whatever, but let me see what everyone else does. Got him. Okay, so... We're gonna try something a little new. As a swift action, I'm gonna put on an enchantment on my hammer, and then whack the guy in front of me. Uh, remember you do take negative. The guy in front of you, so the... Which one? The one that's grappling you right now, or the one... North one. The north big one. guy. Can you do that, Fion? Yeah. I mean, unless he's wielding it two-handed. I'm not, I have a shield and a hammer. Okay. Yeah, you can. So with the first hit, you do end up smacking him. He just... <clears throat> at which point he turns to look at you. Now he needs to roll. Will save. Uh... Don't really have to. He's got a plus ten, man. Yeah, but... Do it anyway. <laughs> Twenty-three. Roll one. Darn. Damn. It was worth a shot. Yeah, fifty percent chance. Wait, does that count as a channeling? No, that's my sacred weapon. Fion. Fion calls out to Zinnia, Cover me! And as Zinnia fires off her Starlight Blast at the three dead enemies, Fion charges forward through the, bur through the ensuing dust. It, Zinnia zaps it, and just uh, brushes it off, and you run flat into it. Wait, really? <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go ahead and read this. It's immune to all attacks and spells save for one specific type. Suck. I was hoping at least the dusting would disrupt it enough that I could still move through it. I'm just doing that turn. for flavor. Aww. <sighs> okay, I'll move around. I mean, technically, I should say, you, you stated you did an action, so you're just standing in front of this thing like, Hello, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was working off inaccurate information. Okay. Let's see. In that case, Fion just uses a double, just moves and then consumes one of her spell slots to recharge her Arcanist Rough Walk. Okay. Uh, I like I said I was holding off until after she was done. I don't really have many options on my camera. Who besides smack something out of frustration as I try and get Also closer. Uh well you can go ahead and move and then I'll move a Stella after. Oh, you can do a Stella. I Okay. In the interim, Estella charges after shouting chat. Okay. 
So she's charging it. Ping! She pops right off the orb. She attacks. Uh, she can't get through the orb. She's attacking the orb itself. Ping, ping, ping. <sighs> Fuck everything. Carry on, my <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Sorry. Now, day, like, all I can do really is, out of sheer frustration, take a charge action to get up here, and just smack the thing that's going to be beside me. So, you're... Thank you for to reach anything. That's valid, right? What are you doing? If I charge up here and just smack this thing as, I'm, as I go near it, that's sure. a valid thing, right? Sure. And I'm pretty sure I don't take AOO because that's... Like a dangle, so I'm only stepping into a zone. Okay. So, basically, study it. Study it just for the hell of it. Charge up and just smack it because... What the hell ever at this point? <laughs> yeah, you just you hit something. You smack it and just poof, explodes. Yeah. And it immediately reforms. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't make a difference to have a blessed weapon right now, mm -hmm. so I hit slash slash good or slash eve or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make a difference? Okay. Uh, at which point, the creature beside Kato just. <gasps> and seeing Kato still grapple. The fuck? Ow. Floats away from Kato. Gets right there. Looks at everyone around it. And you see its jaw dishinge until it covers the entirety of its neck. Ugh. Well, it's still the fiend air, just so it's remembered. Yep, so... Do one, two, three, four, five... So everybody but Rowan and... Works just... <laughs> Roll a will save. Uh, me too? Or? Yep. I'm 30 in the air. <laughs> Fionn, you are paralyzed. I was going to say, I'm 30 up in the air as well. Does it reach that? Well, this still is also up in the air. Uh, this still is fine. Dak, it's got a 60 foot. Okay, I was just checking. Well, Fionn's out. Not like she was being useful anyway. Aww. Uh... Dak, you're fine. Okay. The agent's a bit too... Angry? A bit too in a state of care. Okay. Rowan. She... Yeah, she's muted, and she's doing stuff all muted. I'm gonna guess she's casting Scorching Ray at something. Yep. She's saying she is. She's casting. She's casting Scorching Ray at the uh, at the screaming guy who just paralyzed everybody. Okay, okay. Uh, hold on a second. I have to roll touch for that too. Uh, I see the natural one on there. Yeah, I'm screwed. Fire the second. Yeah, you can fire the second one. Uh, the second one does connect. Oh, hey! Oh, um... Plus five. Fourteen damage. So it gets hit and it's like, uh, 
Anything else, Rowan? Um, no. Rowan's gonna stay 30 feet up in the air. And she's gonna move just to five feet over this way. Okay. Well, the caster in the center, thoroughly pissed off, looks <laughs> at Fionn, looks at Yedrin, points his finger and says, DIE! And casts Circle of Death. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it was nice knowing you all. Oh, paralyzed this. Can you not counter John Paralyze? She's helpless. I thought Paralyze didn't go straight to helpless. Yes. She has a zero strength and a zero dex. But can't, um... She can still make a will save. That, and also, isn't isn't Lily an instinct for heart? Um, guys... Well, is that? You calm, broke up. Yeah, calm down for a second. Yes, Dak is the immediate thing with the Lilies. Mm hmm. That was awesome. Okay. Would Yedrin and Fionn please roll we'll, we'll save? Okay. I was going to say, I was wondering if counter spells of mental action. Um. You know what? I think it might actually be. Let me check. You're unable to act, so I'm assuming you could um, make, uh, Pale Life allows you to take mental actions. Uh, nothing says it isn't. It does, nothing says it has uh, verbal or somatic components. A paralyzed character is frozen in place and unable to move or act. A paralyzed character has effectively has effective dexterity and strength scores of zero and is helpless, but can take purely mental actions. Counterspelling. She must identify the spell being cast as normal. Hold on a second, Fionn, while I'm reading that. You can't take an immediate action, though, so... What? It's a purely mental action, though. But it says you you attempt to counter the spell as an immediate action. But an immediate action is just mechanical. Do you it's still must purely attempt mental to dispel function. Dispel check as if using Dispel Magic. Let me check whether it's a spell-like or supernatural. I'll look at the Because I'm, I'm assuming by doing this, by using the exploit, as counterspell, as stated with counterspell, where you're using the spell magic, that you're basically using the exploit to use it as. It's as if, not by using. Okay. Counterspell is a supernatural, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it works. If you wish to rule it otherwise, fine, but. I mean. Gedrin, would you roll your roll save while I go check? Okay. I mean, otherwise we're dead. Yeah. Ooh. And I may uh, as well just... In which case... <sighs> it dies, so... I need to make a roll real quick. There every time to roll one. Spellcraft is just 10 plus spell level, right? Uh, 10 plus caster level, something. 15 plus spell level, I think it said. So you would have identified it. Alright. Now I'll roll my caster level. Diffusing. And to counter spell, you need a 15 plus 11 spell. plus the spell's caster level. So 
At least I'm useful for something today. God damn, I don't... I don't know. I feel like it should require you to make some sort of check, because at that point it's like... Uh, <laughs> you're laying on the ground, you can't do anything, you can't even move your mouth. Uh, I mean, it's possible they didn't account for every, pos like, every possible situation. Okay, let me see. You said it's a spell-like? It's a supernatural ability. I have posted the information okay. about them in party chat. Using a supernatural ability is a standard action unless otherwise noted. Supernatural abilities may have a use limit or be useful at will, just like however... Uh... God damn. Um... Oh yeah, the stream broke. Yeah. And then there's still sort of the question of, since she's got a familiar and she can actually hold familiar mentally, can the familiar basically cast for her? Not in the case of a supernatural ability. And not in the case of spells or anything. She can pass the spell on to Zinnia after casting it. Okay, I was in shout out to more. I'm gonna do one last check before I make a ruling on this. And sorry for the bringing this up, but when people are talking about instant death. Okay. Um for the sake of it, because it does specifically state that you have to take an action for it. And it's not something like, I think this, or I'm doing a knowledge check. I'm going to rule that it does require the full action. However, Dak, <laughs> as both of them drop unconscious, your lilies actually, activate. Actually, they're both alive. That's so, that's so cool kind of hit me, period. What? I'm nine no more HD. You can't affect anything past nine the more hit die. Circle of death slays one d4 hit death worth of living creatures per caster level. No creature of. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, I misheard that. You two are fine regardless. No wasted spell. No, Fion isn't. Fion isn't. Wait, Fion's what? just unconscious. Fion isn't level nine yet. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yes, she is. She's level 9, but not 10. Yeah. So, yeah, doesn't do a thing. None of us are level 10 yet. Doesn't do anything. So, long argument for nothing. Yeah, so yeah. about that. I didn't even think to look at it because I was thinking instant death, but I forgot a lot of instant deaths have a limit of you're this strong, you're immune. I'm so sorry. That's fine. It saves me. It would have saved me a lot of trouble if I had read the damn thing at the end. <laughs> so am I effectively just at negative hit points equal to my con? No, it can't affect you. Oh, really? You have nine hit die or more, so it can't affect you. Oh, never so mind. He, bur he wasted a spell. <sighs> never mind. So, I'm a stupid. Nah. Be all a little bit stupid. Deck. Okay, um... I'm going to, well... No. However, that does answer a question for later, so please keep that in mind. Oh, this isn't the final boss? Of course Shh. it's not! <laughs> um, 
Let's see. How far is that? Okay. I'm going to cast Dismissal on the, the this one. Which one? The, this one. The, the, the one that screamed at us. Okay. Twenty-two. Fuck. Works. Oh. Well. Scotch, Millie, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I can't channel on you, so I'm taking off the, the the pillar thing. And I can't dismiss you. You are frustrating. Scotch pings him. Ugh. Hit, scotch. Miss, miss. Scotch baby. And as that happens, the creature at the center finally goes, BIFROST! Oh, you dick. I was going to say, as soon as it starts saying BIFROST, I'm going to start saying BIFROST right after, see if I can't get it put off instantly. <laughs> it does hit you and the other way immediately turns off. Um... Fuck. Well, Fion can't roll a reflex, so... Oh. Yeah, automatic failure. Theo, take four points of damage. <laughs> oh uh, no, yeah, four points of damage. You're fine. Well, the wall spells do not do a whole lot of damage. No. Anyway. Works and... Um, well, I'm gonna charge the other one now. Also, uh... I remember that Estelle did say channel, so that's down. Oh, she said channel? I uh -huh. said channel, yeah. Okay, my bad. Pur purposely, yes. Gotcha. <laughs> you come in, works, and just dive, and you stab this creature, and as you go through it, <laughs> Just this mournful sound comes out of it. And all the little creatures that were around it turned to ash. Just like, like twirl my lance around like... Two for two. Yadrin? Sorry, Yadrin. I don't know what I can do. You can do about it. Um, could I? Hmm. I don't think I could. I was gonna say, could I like grab Fiona and drag her behind one of the pillars so she's safe? Yeah, you can drag her. I could lift her. Jeez. Yeah, you could lift her. It should be a light load for you. So that's if I do a full round, can I like, grab her and put her behind like this pillow over here or something? I will so say she... you can pick her up as your standard, and then you can move. And putting her down would be another standard. I don't know. Dropping items is a free action. <laughs> Fair enough. You can uh, you can pick her up, and then if you choose to. Dump her. Unceremoniously drop her. Oh my god. Like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I'll apologize for it, but that gets you behind cover. In which case, yeah, I'll. How long, does, how long does Paralyze last? In it case, does I'll, not I'll, have a listed time limit. Yeah, in that case, I'll grab her and stick her back over here behind the wall. <laughs> It says you can do it once per minute, but it doesn't say how long it lasts. That's really weird. It's probably permanent. Hey, uh... You can check that out. Moss paralysis effects are permanent until dispelled. 
Mm-hmm. Fun. Yeah. So kind of. Oh, jeez. Um. So yeah, uh, Fiona, if you can move yourself behind the pillar <laughs> over here, all oh, this wall over here just scares dumps you over there just so you're out of line of sight. So what color is the orb surrounding the douchebag? Clear. Damn. Just gonna... Just hit it with everything. (laughs) Yeah. Just gonna shout out each word. Just all of them. Okay, so... As you do this, they just start intersecting wildly. They just kind of all ping through, kind of wrapping around the orb. The thing inside of it just lets out a sigh and says them all again. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) shit. Your plan worked, Connor. It deleted itself. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Fiona. Should I say it's still at this point? Yeah. <laughs> I think some of them to up to. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, Ron, you go ahead. Nah, I'm here. Oh, oh, and I deleted his move off the table. He was right after Rowan. Yep, I know. Uh, so... Quick question. Is the barrier... Does it block line of... It does not block line of sight. But line of effect. Yes. Okay. Estella just keeps smacking at the barrier and press... Ting, 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 ting. Come out and fight with armor, damn it! <laughs> Rowan's going to step a little bit away from you. That's why I said you are. Never mind. It's going to go right. Wait a sec. Here. If it blocks line of effect, how has it been casting magic through it? It can cast magic through it. Magic can't go. It can cast out of it. Magic can't go into it. Up wow, to a that certain is some level. Contrived. Oh, shit. Carrying on. <laughs> huh. That is really weird. Now, uh, what are you doing, Ron? Magic can't get through it. Physical attacks can't get through it. Its own orbs can't. Get There she is. Welcome back. It was weird. Everybody went quiet, but everybody was lighting up. <laughs> uh, yeah, this group might have had a hiccup. 
and yeah, it does that to me all the time. Like a bitch. I'm like, it is just too incredibly quiet, and then I look over mm -hmm. and I see works and that's like, yeah, something's wrong. <laughs> It is your turn, Rowan. I think. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, wait, I'm trying yeah. to figure out Owen, this. Owen was just looking up a little bit, uh, moving up a little bit to where she is, um, because she knows that nothing is going to attack it at this point. But she's gonna roll a perception just to see if she can notice anything else about it. As soon as her her uh, character sheet reopens, there it goes. Okay. Anything in particular you're looking for? Um, I know the colors are. I, I don't know. I'm. I guess I'm looking for like, something on the tomb that might. <laughs> that might. That might give a clue as to how or maybe what we might be able to do. Um, I don't. Know. You look at the tomb and you notice it's like a patchwork of all the constellations with this dark space in between them on on there that are making different shapes. Now, okay. is is yeah. this in the, the circle that's going around the outside of the tomb? It's in the circle around the tomb and in the tomb itself. Do the constellations on the circle on the outside coincide? I don't know. Um, that doesn't make any sense to me anymore. Um, are, they, are, the, are they are they linked together? Are they are they? Do I see the same ones on the outside ring as the inside? Or I don't know. No, they're. It's kind of like there's a star map in the that's covering the entire circle, and it just continues on to the uh, the tomb. So for me, it just looks like dots because I don't know jack about stars. Yeah. Um, However, that would be your action, so if you want to move, you are free to. Yeah, I, I moved a little bit already. I didn't, I'm didn't. i trying to stay out of my sight of the orbs. Okay. He just... He looks around for a second, and he goes... hand up, and Kato and everyone else, you see it pull out a star globe, and a series of black cards start to float around it. It's time to... Send it to the Shadow Realm! And then, Kato, you see a constellation that you've never seen before pop up over his head. At which point he points to uh, Fion and Yedrin once more. Suffer the wrath of the cataclysm. And it explodes into a burst of lightning. Oh, is that chain lightning? At which point, Yedrin, you may make a reflex save. The card bursts, and a 
bolts of lightning comes out from the ceiling, bursts down, and explodes around you. It's actually centered on you, Yedrin. So it's a 20-foot radius around you and just pure lightning. Uh, Zinnia may make a reflex. So... Yedrin, you're okay. You make the save, so you take half. Um, however, Fion, please take 43 points of lightning damage. What? Fion's down. Um, Yedrin, you take half, so take 22. No, 21. And Zinnia... Zinnia has improved evasion, so she takes half as well. Actually, she failed. No, improved evasion. She takes half by failing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, you know, what? So, yeah. 21 there as well. At which point, the car dissipates. And as it does, the little bubble around him shatters. Uh, is this a, is this a Lily moment? Uh, she's unconscious. Uh, She's also out of line of sight, so I don't know if Lily's worked there. Uh, it's fair, but oh, did it still count the Lily that you cast before, or were we? Uh, I the, that 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 wasn't needed, so it didn't happen. I was gonna say, how much damage have you even taken for you? You were at full health. They took like what five frost, and then four. I started at forty-five, took four damage, and then took the forty-three. Oof. And 49 was my max health, so I would have barely been standing even at full. Mm. Yeah, 10d10 tends to hurt. Ow. Did you cast Indignation? No, gas Cataclysm. Your Indignation probably would have done a lot more. <sighs> that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Millie, honey, please. <laughs> Millie zips over to, uh, the own heels. And whatever, scotch. Hey, correct. Hey, honey. Yeah, that's yeah. a good confirmation. Good job, bud. What's he That's, attacking? Is that Pierce? I believe it is piercing, yes. Okay. Let me double. I mean, there's spikes, so, yeah. You know, most likely piercing. Uh, okay. So, Wait, is the he attacking first the orb? Two hit. The orb is gone. Yeah, he uh, said the orb broke. So. Oh, perfect. There's a tinting. It hits, it's like. <gasps> I'm out of position for the orb breaking. Oh well. So, like, what's like all this area in here, or is that just? That's just map. Yeah. Okay. I, I think he is like a good thirty feet in the air. Yeah, he's 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 in the air. Oh, he's gonna be in the air. I guess that was everything you could do, Todd. Yeah, no, that's everything I can do. So it walks it on. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move here, though. I need to verify something real quick. Okay. How high is my jump? Uh, it should be five feet per every level, so 45. 
believe that'll put me just in range. Okay. Ugh. So we're going to move up and then jump. Uh, we'll land right there. And then we'll roll. You succeed. He takes full damage? Yep. Holy crap. So 19 times 2, that's what, 38? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Drew. Um, not much I can do. Still on the side, to use both actions for movement over <laughs> to, like, here. Okay. Got him. Okay, let's see. I'm not grappled anymore, am I? No, it disappeared. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's see. Is he up on a platform, Let but not think. very high? Sorry. He's, Isn't this, he's like, a platform? Above. Yeah, he's floating above the platform. How high off the platform? Well, the platform itself is, like, 20 feet in the air, and he's about, like, 10 feet up. Mm hmm. We're gonna move in here a bit, and then... Astrally realign myself. Boop. Okay, so just pop down, like in front of him. Yep. Given the circumstances, may as well be addressing you with Estella. Mm -hmm. In either, any case, Estella charges at... First okay. attack it counts, only first attack counts, and is made at 27 due to the charge. Okay, it hits. Um, as the blade hits, Estella quickly realizes that he's immune to frost damage. Well, that's okay, because uh, he takes. He's an undead, so he takes double damage from the smite, so. That would be another. Oh, f seven damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Wrong. Alright, Rowan's gonna go back to her tried and true using her um Also Zany takes cover and cures herself. Okay. And Oh wait shit, she only cast cure light wounds today. Add Never five to that. Okay, so twenty eight. Yippers. It's so easy. You see, she's like fading away quickly. At which point, 
he uses five foot step to float up another five feet out of Works's range. Looks down at him <laughs> and goes, I curse you. Works, what's well. your touch? <laughs> <laughs> you like that's gonna matter. Twenty. Okay. Oof. Twenty. Works. Yep, I'm cursed. He casts invineration on you. Take four negative. Which holes. does what? Uh, excuse you. Take four negative levels. Um. So how do I calculate that in my sheet? Uh, remove four levels worth of hit die. Um, no, uh, there's an energy drain yeah. section in the conditions, just bump that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so minus four, I guess? Yeah. And, sorry, I did not know about the energy drain section in the sheet. Yeah, no, it's got a whole bunch of conditions. It's got all the official conditions. Yeah. Fun times. Um, I don't know what that did to me. I was going to say, if you give it a sec, it might adjust your sheet a little bit, but... Did you pump, it, pull up the, uh, or pump it up? You should put it to four and then hit the hit it to activate it. Yeah. Here, let me try that. There you go, works. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, your hit point max went to 70. Okay. <sighs> Does that make it deflated? Do what? Deflated. deflated. He totally deflated. <laughs> <laughs> Works, you just get. You're like. What? <gasps> like a fucking balloon, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I get pissed off and I'm gonna fucking hurl an earth glove at him. Or not. F you. Uh, versus touch? That? Yeah. Hits. I was looking at all those ones in my damage roll. Oh man! <laughs> Three ones. Ugh. Okay, works. Yeah, it's your turn. Go. So, how high in the air is he now? Thirty-five feet. Uh, he's fifteen feet above you. God damn it! Yeah, uh, you're also eating a whole bunch of negatives from those negative levels. Every time I've rolled yeah. a D4 tonight, I've rolled a 4. <laughs> and yeah, fun fact, th that lasts um, one hour per cast level, unless someone removes it. Mm-hmm. Great. Does anybody have remove curse? R restoration works. Mm. It'll be fine anyway, it'll only last 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, Unless it's the last boss, we're gonna have some problems. Anyway. It's not. Yeah, I know. Have fun! Well, the only thing I can really do is throw my spear at it. Okay. Oh, God. Surprisingly, that still hits. Man, I roll a two, and I'm still hitting it. What the hell? It's a fucking <laughs> cast. Actually, hang on one sec. You had to open your mouth. <laughs> I was on the wrong page. Oh. It still so hits. Funny. Okay. Uh, but remember, it's a fucking caster. They are not renowned for their, uh, you know... Vitality. Yeah. Defense. How you want to do this works? Oh shit! It's a caster. <laughs> well, I you know, back. but still, was not expecting that. Uh, I have just like to go down here anyway. You motherfucker! And just kind of like just throw the spear up under him. <laughs> it goes through him, and as it like, you see the tip of it kind of hit the top of his jaw and go through, and there's like you see the starry eye kind of roll up and go black, and then the other eye kind of roll to the white 
and your spear comes back and he starts to float down. Staccato. I'm not Charlene. extend a hand and you see the black cards appear don't let it die and then he just crumbles into ash leaving nothing behind but his robe and the cards kind of Pick them both up and... The robe kind of like crumbles to ash as you touch it. It's like, ugh. Pull it away. It's a cobwebbed and murky. It like makes your fingertips black after you touch it. You're like, ugh. Jumps down. Somebody get this off me. Get it off, get it off, get it off. Anybody? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm all the way over here. <laughs> I was gonna say, not doing a whole lot of nothing right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, is he okay? He thought I tried to get out of the way, but it didn't quite work. Yeah, no, I I can see that. So, I think maybe the water from um, Steak Lady will help. I, I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. So you, I, you took the cards in the cloak, right, Kata? Yeah. Alright, so you have the cards now. So will, like, the um, paralysis just wear off at some point? Um, considering it didn't leave one, I'm assuming you've got to cast a spell to get rid of it. That's very frustrating considering what the paralysis page said. Eh. That's their own fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no way of curing this. Now you know how I feel. Fucking paralysis page too. <laughs> yeah. So Fiona's just like laying there on the ground, like kind of drooling, just like. Ugh. We can try. Can we try? Do you think the water will help? I mean, what does the water do? Isn't the water supposed to have restorative properties? I it's don't supposed know. Supposed to make you younger, basically. I don't think that's gonna help here. I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm not a healer. I mean. <laughs> If I had an answer for you, I'd give it. It's not like we have any regents around to... ...try and... ...make an antidote of some kind. But... ...rubs his hands together, and... It does nothing. Damn it. Don't you have like a spontaneous type uh, spell thing? Yeah, for healing spells, but 
I don't uh, think that's gonna work with paralysis. Well, I'm asking because I think clerics get a remove paralysis spell? I mean, it's level two for a shaman. Get a what? <sighs> One sec. So, just to be sure, did they have Fiona drink the water? No. No, we're Okay, what did Kata to... do? He tried to dispel magic. Dispel magic. magic. Oh. Uh, remove paralysis is a cleric oracle level 2 spell. Well, I didn't prepare it, so... Okay. I didn't know if you could spontaneous... And I can only... It. I can only spontaneous cure spells. Ah, uh, shame. <sighs> um. Well, what are we gonna do? Can't leave her here. Or can we? We're not leaving her here. It was a joke. It was a bad one. Well, like all the forces. Hey. Hmm. While they're debating this, the cell just picks Fiona. <laughs> uh, I mean, that works. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to suggest it's still like a carrier and then see if it can maybe come apart. They might have some other potions and stuff that we might be able to uh, take. I hate that there's not a. Like, every other instance of paralysis I've seen has a fucking duration. I mean, at that point, it's okay, just... You're a DM. You know, I was gonna say, yeah. I think the lich is paralyzed and touched up. Well, you were fighting a lich, but. But the, they're dead. So, I mean, yeah. in theory, the, since they're dead, wouldn't their spells be gone with them too? Uh. It's not a spell. Yeah, the lich's paralyzing touch is permanent until mm -hmm. it removes paralysis. The shriek thing that the creature did. Just doesn't say, and because it doesn't say, I'm gonna say it's more of a round-based thing. So, Fion, you're fine now. Yeah. Obviously. Because that's not <laughs> the fact that it does not say, and I can't find an explanation anywhere. Strikes me as either it's meant to be permanent, or it's meant to be like every other paralyzing shriek thing, which is like two d four rounds. Yeah. So, and because. Because if it was permanent with a 60-foot radius, that's, uh -huh. that's pretty that's extreme. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's round-based. Yeah, that would okay. be okay in almost all the instances. So, Theo, you're fine. Works. You have 10 hours and 50 minutes left of D-leveled. Oh, God. Works end? Yeah. Would you like assistance? I, I would like. I don't know why mom is so heavy. Mm. Mom spaghetti. Exactly. <sighs> she turns and puts her hands on Workson's arm and casts restoration. Uh, so that takes Dad, off the entire the curse. Component for that? Does it? Um, if you're using it to remove the negative, oh, it's that's a permanent. Means. Okay, yeah, that's a permanent. Way. Okay, then never mind. Yeah. yeah. So is it fully taken off then? Yep. Yeah. It dispels temporary. Yep. Mm hmm. No, no more hundred gil less, but no. yeah, I'll I'll take money off because we don't usually have the damn reagents. I didn't even see mm -hmm. that. Chump chance for an all done. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the GP isn't much. Try, try not to have that happen to you again. I can't do that spell for another day. I wasn't aware that was even a thing. Yeah. <sighs> okay, now what are we going to do? Well, one, gotta fix up any bang in the tuck. I know we feel the both singed. Are you alright, Fionn? I'll be fine. Mm. The uncasts care moderate wounds on herself. I 
You have a you have a stick. I mean, <laughs> <have a> stick. <laughs> yeah, I have a stick. I'm just gonna give you on the stick. Or, bonk, 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 yeah, bonk. Yeah, just get a bonk, bonkery four times. It's one d eight plus one. Okay, that was your last uses of it, right? Yeah, that was the last usage of that one. Okay. How many uh, more do you have? Please roll a. Roll a one d twenty plus your intelligence. Okay, one d twenty. No echo for you, madam. <laughs> Okay, stick is fine. Okay. To answer your question, works. I have another one, which is a Cure Light Wounds wand. Okay. It's got 50 uses. So okay, how many so bonks did I get? You got four. One, one D8 plus ones. And so now I assume the, the wand is the same thing. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, move that back up fifty. <sighs> Zinia gives Dak fat very high. How, how the hell do we get out of here now? That's a question. Uh, that's a question. Make sure everyone's good to move and fully healed up because there's gonna be more stuff in this place it seems like and Zinnia flops on Dak's head and lines. Oh, you poor thing. Tip a tap tap. Don't know how many how many she need. Oh. He broke up. Oh, I don't know how many she needs. Three. three. I'll say three, I said. Okay. And that's brings her close to full. Okay, Yedrin? Yes. Uh how hard are you? How many should I tap you for? I'm not overly hot. I'm just a <sighs> bit singed. Okay. Give two taps then. Roll two D eight plus <clears throat> two. Oh. Yeah. Well, oops. Yeah, okay. oh well. Um, uh, it's enough. Do you all start heading the other way? Uh, yep. Yep. <clears throat> Dex. <Dexter. coughs> <Oop. clears throat> I'm also going to tap myself for two. Because I am a little hurt. Hey, I did worse! <laughs> healing's healing. I don't care. Hey, Kato? Yeah? If you would be so kind as to roll perception. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, God! <laughs> How many natural ones are you going to roll tonight? Uh, just perception rules. You don't notice anything, Gato. You're just kind of like... You're still messing with the gunk on your fingers like... Eh, eh, eh. Rowan prestidigitates his fingers clean. Hey, Gato, uh, did you see all the, um... All the star constellations over there? Does that make any sense to you? Mm. It might have something to do with the dark constellations that were mentioned in the text, because I didn't... None of those were familiar to me at all. Yedrin? Mm hmm Would you roll a perception, please? There's this niggling feeling in the back of your neck, Gedrin, that you can't get rid of. Like, nettles constantly pricking, and you're like, something doesn't seem right. What are we forgetting? 
and you turn your head and you can see that after the defeat of whatever that thing was, the tomb is very slightly ajar. There was eyes. Hey guys, huh? the box is a little bit open. Oh. Um. I guess that's where we have to go. I'm gonna stay back here. You're more than welcome to go open it. <laughs> the valiant leader. <sighs> Size. Probably gonna. Probably should be the one to try and open this, anyways. Considering being trapped at the lodge. Gonna go over and push. Uh, with your strength, Yadrin, you just kind of. You find it's actually relatively light. It looks like it, uh, it's actually made of wood, but they just decorated to look like it was stone. Gee, bastards. <laughs> Balsa wood at that. It's like. I don't know. Like almost disintegrates at your touch. You're like, motherfuckers. But as you pull it aside, you can see that there's just dust inside from the, the decay that the body that this creature came from was in. And you note only one object inside. A jet black hammer. Um, can one of you come look at this? There seems to be a hammer in here, and I'm afraid to touch it. Hammer? <laughs> I'm just gonna come over and take a look. Boys and their toys. I mean, I'm all for good looting, but tombs. Do you look down, Kata, and you see a jet black one-handed hammer? Uh, detect magic. Uh, there's magic coming off of it. Pretty strong. Uh, it's spellcraft to identify. You look at it, you're like. Mm, that thing's strong. It's really well made. Do I detect astrology coming off of that? Fuck it, I'm gonna use something I haven't used before that I got back at the cultist. Um, the first cultist, then. The identification orb lens thing. Okay. Yeah, what was that, back in old huh? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> um, what does that do? That like adds, basically casts Identify for it, you? Yeah, I think so. It has been a long time since any of you have cast that spell, so... <laughs> uh, you can add plus ten. You're looking at it and... Something on the hammer is purposefully obscuring what it does for you. However, you do detect off of it that wielding it would definitely make you stronger. And likewise, it would have a particularly detrimental effect on creatures that die. Fuck it, I'm already walking back and forth between the void. Picks it up. <laughs> then you go it up, backs up just in case. <laughs> you pick it up, Kato, and it, it feels good in your hand. It feels really good in your hand. So I guess he is worthy. You're like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like it, 
It almost feels like an extension of your arm when you pick it up. You're like, I can work with this. Yeah. So I'll probably be needing some stats on that later. I gotta give you the cards too. Yeah. Okay, since so auto's not exploding, I guess that's everything. Would you prefer it if I exploded? No. Well then I'm don't not... say things like that. I can explode. Gary! <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> not. Um, regardless, what are you all doing now? I'm gonna try pushing the coffin itself, see if there's something underneath it, like a stairway. Um, you quickly find that this thing is carved into the ground. It's not um, going nowhere. <clears throat> I can't, there goes that. I can't remember offhand exactly what Scotch had said. Something about the west going further? Yeah, the west way from where you came in, mm -hmm. like down here, yeah. is still tunneling onwards for like miles. <sighs> Uh, that only option, I guess, considering... I mean... Uh, I mean, unless there's anything down this way, and just flip, as Scotch kind of flit around. Um... Perception. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, why am I rolling myself? Sorry. You find anything, Scotch? I ain't found shit! Regardless... Oh, Scotch gosh. goes and looks. There's nowhere to go but that direction. Uh, looks like we're walking. Looks like. Dex feet hit the ground because fly probably wore off at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking at um at these strange reminders and I'm looking at what I post about the worms. 3,450 for doing the worm. Oh, God. As a question, you all can see this page, right? Uh, the uh, corridor? Yeah. 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 Alright. You all continue to make your way down this corridor, walking for at least another two miles. You can feel the strain of the battles upon you, the mental strain of doing the puzzles. Not to mention the emotional toll, kind of weighing everybody. I need everybody to make a fortitude save. No. Ugh. I forgot to take the remote back. Oof. The squishies are tired. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have dragon stamina. <laughs> Everybody oh, that isn't Kato, Yedrin, and works, you are fatigued. Yep, the squishies are all fatigued. That includes Estelle and Zinnia. <laughs> the frontline fire is just like, yeah! After we just uh... lost four. After we just lost <laughs> yeah. four levels. I mean, I'm gonna fall asleep on someone's head. I will take this. I will take this. Works. Me, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> what? Carry your dragon <laughs> queen. Tired. Hop on. Oh my god. Did he reinflate after? Yes. The curse was lifted. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagining him doing what they did in um. Like Tom and Jer and their thumb and just Alright. Work. Jeez, a DC yeah, twenty save not... against fatigue? That's not normal. What? We're underground and we've probably been inhaling my activist. 
Fair enough. Hold on, I think Ron's trying to say something. I don't I didn't hear. What was that? I'm Wait. having a weeb moment. Works is all might. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yes. I am here. <laughs> and then. <laughs> uh, oh God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, if one of them really wanted to, I could probably just have holding the axe. One of them could sleep on it for like a couple minutes. Uh, Otto, will you carry me? <laughs> I can. I can princess carry Rowan. Just picks up Tart, puts him in, puts her in his hood. <sighs> Flop. <laughs> Regardless, um... Yeah, Rowan's gonna just curl up and works his arm. <laughs> For those that are not fatigued... Perception. Oh, great. We go from one of my best to my worst. Thank God it wasn't in that one that time. <laughs> okay, so everyone but well, Kato and Yedrin, as you guys are trudging along, you turn your head, like walking in on these corridors, and you see a split, and it's kind of an L split. So one path keeps going straight towards a light, and the other path branches off to the left going the other way and you look down the leftward path and you look down and when you look in you can see what you're guessing is a supply closet large enough to fit the party and it appears to when you look in it has a few barrels which you don't know what's in them but you're based on how they're packed in and seeing a few rolls of cheese in there you're assuming Wine, water, rice, things of that nature. How long has it been since we entered the since you came tomb? In? Yeah. yeah. Feels like a couple hours. Time is really fucky um, down here because it it's, hasn't... Cause it's dark and you're underground, so you can't see what the is it. It hasn't been two weeks again, has it? Um, likewise, you've been going through portals, and you've been doing puzzles and all the other shit you've probably been down here for a good five hours shall we take a short rest in this supply closet very well but we should burn it all when we're done fair enough I second that I'll burn feel better X taking a cat nap on Inkato's hood, so she's already out. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, you all walk in. You get into the supply closet. It's spacious enough that it can fit all of you. Um, not really anywhere to Come. lay down inside of it comfortably, but you can sit or lay on the floor. It's just gonna. I'm just gonna take ten for authority, just to look around and make sure it's just like just food, nothing untowards, and big what's in the bales exactly. Pop it open. You go through everything. Everything's mostly water, or barley, rice. Um, there's some cheese. There's not any meat in here. There's not any vegetables. The only thing really untoward you find is you do pop open one barrel and it is just full of blood. Um. It's like the thick layer of coagulation on top of it. Hmm. <laughs> oh great, my great grandmother must be cooking. Is there a door to the room? Only the one you came in through. Well, I mean, like, it's an actual door, is it just like a... Yeah, there's, like, an, there's like an actual door. There's like a fully made wooden door with a steel bar, with like two steel bars on the side of it, and then like a, a drop bar. 
Uh, he unhauls the barrel full of blood out and then just tosses it down the corridor. They went. Well, if we're gonna rest here, might as well barricade the door up and try and get comfortable. Enjoy a meal. Okay. Um, yeah, Drew, how are you gonna barricade the door? Well, one, close it. See, see how many of those bars and stuff can be used to actually like. Well, the, like the steel bars, like there's a steel bar that's wrapping the wooden planks together and holding it tightly, kind of like where the hinge is connected. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like one big metal bar that you can put in front of it to keep the door from swinging open. Which way, which way does it swing? It, it swings inward, so the bar is on the inside. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna close it. Gonna put the bar in place and. And, um, just to chat. And if I really need to, if there's like a way I could do it, I could grab out the hammer I have, the old hammer I have in my, ha my handy hammer sack still, and use it as an extra bar of. <laughs> okay, so you have the Lucerine hammer on top? Yep. Okay. Anything else? I already threw out the thing of blood. So, yeah, I use the Lucian hammer as like a. Uh, you know what you do with the whole like chair against the hand, door handle thing? You're probably. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah, thank you, Owen. And. I don't know, one of the spare bales of water. Okay. Anybody else helping with that? Doing anything? <laughs> Prop myself against the door. <laughs> Do what? Roman? I said for not Kato. <laughs> yeah, doesn't look like it. All right. So you all settle down. The dust and the darkness. Is it dark? There's like a candle burning. There's scotch. There's <laughs> scotch. It's <laughs> it's not bright by any stretch of the imagination. Well, it's like probably enough to see everyone, but that's about it. Rowan has lights. Oh. Take a nap, girl. Take a nap. Yeah. Everyone's dead tired. Yeah. Want to go on a lot of stuff, and there's not much we can do besides barricade and hope we get enough time to at least refresh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, Rowan's just gonna curl up. He's gonna stay curled up and works his arms and just go get some rest. Is everyone? Is everyone going to sleep at this point? Yeah. Yeah. No, somebody's gotta stay awake. We need. I'll take first watch. Do a, a, a quick watch. I'll take first. Scotch and Millie can also trade off. I'll help out on the watches. We shouldn't. We shouldn't sleep long though. Yeah. We don't, we, we we should only take a couple of hours. Alright, well, to that extent, who is taking the watch? I am. Works? Alright. Yep. Is everybody else asleep? No, oh, I'm, yep. all, I'm all cuddly. Okay. Works. Motherfucking will save. Oh, Bahamut bullshit. Roll big, you got your girlfriend on your lap. I hope it's enough. There's... Silence... For a second works. Then you hear... 
<laughs> you hear this faint giggle well off in the distance kind of echo through your ear <laughs> my first thought is just like oh, my first thought is just like I think I prefer the dragon laughing <laughs> You start hearing these chimes play through your head. You're like, oh, nice. Bahamut, get this noise out of my head. <laughs> That's right. Man, dragon, dragon lets more things in my more things in my head than hunt. Harsh. Truth. <laughs> if that point works, you pass out. Damn. How close was I to 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 getting out of that? Two. Ooh. Damn it! Still, I will say Iron Will was the best thing I ever took. <laughs> Dak. Uh huh. Rowan. Yes. I need the two of you to make a will safe. <sighs> that was almost a two. I know, I saw that. The two of you blink for a moment. As you wake up, no longer feeling tired in the slightest. In fact, far more refreshed than you realize you should feel, period, considering how short you wanted this to be. However, as you both blink and look up, now awake, you look over and you see that the door is open. The barricade's completely moved out of the way. And there is a sleeping Yedrin on top of 20 bodies, her mouth entirely covered in blood. And you look at their bodies and they're not axe marks. In church shrieking? There are horn gouges in their bodies. Many of them are missing, like, the entirety of their faces. Arms are gone. Uh, three of them look like they were chewed halfway through. Hey. I'm gonna, like, shake the shit out of work to wake them up. Um, likewise, the two of you... Please roll a perception. Oh, we lost Kata. Yeah, Kata's going to bed. Yeah, I know. The two of you look down, and there's a thin film of water beneath your feet. Yeah, can the screaming commence? Are we sure it's water? Yeah, it's, it's clear. It's just water. Well, just because it's... It's briny, though. It's like salt... Do we... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put... Sniff it. He's gonna lick the floor. It's... I was licking on... <laughs> it definitely... It, smel it smells like the ocean. I'm a lady. I don't lick the floor. <laughs> and oh my... It smells like seawater. Oh. What? What is... Catherine, what the heck? I was gonna say, am I deep asleep or am I like... You wake up feeling... satiated. <sighs> Looks around. <laughs> That's like stepping behind Rowan, like, oh my god. It is foggy though, but looking around. You're basically at this point, Yedrin, you turn and look, 
and you see there are two humongously fat individuals that you basically turn into a um, into like a waterbed for yourself for the night. <laughs> I am still grabbing the hell out. Of I'm not wringing his neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, works for another will save. Wait. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, fuck you! Works through like blank, blank. <gasps> you wake up feeling rested. And you're like, what the fuck? Basically, it's like, wait. Yadrin, Yadrin, point to Yadrin and doesn't and just and turns his head to look at Hunt. Okay. Just draw drops open like. Huh? I'll admit. What in the ma matron's know. name were you doing? I'll admit, I don't know, and I didn't think sleep mortal was possible. <laughs> <laughs> Yedrin, you run on Gil and murder. I'm surprised you're not out there sleep stealing. <laughs> Works roll of perception now that you're awake. Okay. Oh yeah, because I don't perceive a lot. Works, you look up, and you're... There's a moment where you're, like, looking away, and like, you're trying to get Rowan to stop shaking you, and you look away from Yedrin, and you look around, and you go, Oh, holy fuck, what happened? Does it look like a bloodbath? No, the room is about 30 feet wider in every direction from the destruction after head level. Um, and it's leaking from the ceiling and it's leaking salt water from the ceiling. Are we under the water? What happened? I'm gonna pinch myself. Does oh. it hurt? Yes. Yeah. Oh, didn't even think. Could, could we be asleep? Well, this isn't the dream. Which makes me even more concerned. <laughs> um, works with your perception. If you look a little further in to where one of the leaks is. Come on, baby. Come on, cat. Hold on. And you can see what looks to be half of a body getting drugged through a hole far too small for it. <laughs> and these just like <laughs> noise coming out. And you stare for a second and you can see this tiny worm-like creature come out of the pants leg, bur like basically burrowing through the flesh like it would the ground. Eat a bit, and then wrap back and start to drag further upwards. I, I at this point, like, is Rose still on top of me? Uh, I'm assuming she's like. Still shaking you, but she can answer that. No, I'm shaking him, but I'm still I, I'm still on you. I, I'm not getting my feet wet. I like, I like just kind of like reach back around me, pull out the fang. I'm just like Yedrin. What the yes. fuck was that? What the fuck was that thing? I just saw something burrow out of that guy's leg. And I'll honestly, I'm not sure what's going on here, like, at all. Well, somebody about give, start giving me some explanations. Because right now... It's not looking too good. Just hear Bahamut later. I mean, could we, are we in some kind of illusion? I would only hope so, because I don't... could be an illusion? I would only hope, because I don't want to imagine Hunt eating people. 
Hold on, I heard something before I, I passed out. I, I heard, 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 heard like this girl giggling in my ear. It wasn't Bahama because he was snoring pretty loudly too. Ugh. And honestly, I wish I could give you an explanation, but I'm a bit as lost as you are. He's sort of like standing up and looking around. Has anyone looked outside yet? Jack's gonna go outside because he's starting to feel sick. <laughs> uh, roll a perception as you get out in the hallway, Dak. Okay. Woof. Everything is exactly the same way you left it, down to the barrel of blood going down. However, you can tell a bit of time has passed because it's dried and there's not even that damp spot on the ground anymore. Okay, everything out here is better. Ugh. Dex is gonna go around the corner. She doesn't want to look it in the room anymore. Mm -hmm. as, as far as I can tell, oh, we, someone may or may not gotten through the door, and someone may or may not have gotten killed by someone somehow. I am not sure what's going on here at all. You're sleeping on bodies. I noticed. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. Hi. Right. I'm gonna see with something to do with my bullshit, but at the same time, we never figured out what my bullshit is. Well, yeah, yours that's is the only bullshit worry. that involves water. And goring people. Yeah. Just peering around the door frame. <laughs> Plus, did Yedrin tell us about, the, about the, the second voice in his head? Or her head? I don't think so, no. It never came up. No. Um, the most you guys know is I one time created a bunch of water. Yeah. <laughs> um... Dad, there is mm -hmm. one thing you do quickly note with your perception. Mm hmm? There's two or three people further back in the hall that you look and you see they have been bludgeoned to death. Not gently either. It essentially looks like an avalanche of rocks like dropped on them repeatedly. They are mangled and mashed until essentially they made human mashed potatoes. Oh. Wait, where's Kado? Kado's in the room, like, asleep in a puddle. And I guess Fionn's the same? Fionn... somehow or another had the foresight to basically curl on top of some barrels. Did you go to the theater? She, like, points as if you guys can fucking see the mashed potatoes out there. As I said, I don't know. Hold on. I hope I didn't go on a mass killing speed throughout the place. That would be weird. I mean, it's... it'd be good if I mean, it'd be good if you cleared out, cleared out a few things ahead of us. I'm not condoning murder, but I'm glad it wasn't us. Um, the black hammer Kado got is that still here? Yeah, he's like, he's like on cuddling it. Oh, okay, so he's. So, okay, I was gonna say, is he edging it? Edging? Edging it? <laughs> okay, that misses a question. Looks around for the ham- the hammer. Which hammer? Your lucerine? Um, yeah. Down over there. Um, do you find it underneath one of the bodies? Here? Okay. Put your head down. Double Actually, just goes over and double checks they still have everything, if they've been out doing something without knowing it. Everything's still on you. <sighs> Edrin, you have a voice in your head too, don't you? You need a thing to talk to one time? One? Like, ever? Can you ask it if it knows what happened? I think I'm gonna ask that thing if it knows what happened. It's probably gonna just tell me darkness, 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 eat a, eat a piece of shit. Oh, so it's Bahamut, but a lot more, but a lot more vocal. 
No, it doesn't say anything except to say the, the coming of darkness is soon, remember? Oh, yeah. <sighs> So what I'm going to assume is, while we were sleeping, Hunt, in their sleep, heard someone open the door and went on a killing spree. Someone was probably- What was that wrong? I said and someone was probably just coming looking for some water. Boy, it's a bad time to be thirsty. Man, I could really use some cheese right now- OH MY GOD! Oh, that was his question. He said he was knocked out, Warps. Was what? He said you were knocked out. Yeah. Passed out. Um. Dag? Yeah? Roll another perception. I don't want to see any of this, though. No. Oh. You hear in the distance a. <laughs> just the sound of something incredible. Incredibly hard, pulling back and hitting something fleshy. Mm. It worked, but okay. There's something out there. Oh, that misses the question. Is this my fault, or was I just sleeping in the aftermath of something else? I don't know. Doom! 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 I'm gonna go around the corner again. <laughs> you watch and you see this earth elemental come by deck dragging uh -huh. a cultist with its head utterly smashed and destroyed, mashed potatoed, and just dumps it. And just doom! Doom! Looks at you, uh, nods, and keeps walking. Wait, wait, wait! What? What happened? You protect the green one. Doom, doom. Did you do all this? It looks at you, and then it looks all of what? Points down the hall. Which hall? Uh, the, like the one that had all of the mashed potatoes in it. Just nods and keeps walking. Turns back to the others. Uh. Elemental. Elemental. Now I know that's not my bullshit. That's, that's my bullshit, that. apparently. That point, uh, it just like crumbles and this yellow energy flows in the back. Uh. Oh, uh, that was new. Ha! I got it right now. Yay! What's up, Rowan? I, I just said that it was it was that of my magic bullshit going on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see, you do notice at this point, roll perception. <laughs> oh, mother! Where's ah! my Shouldn't have said anything. Where's my baby? Baby's in the corpse pile eating. Nom, 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 nom. Oh I mean, the baby's a, the baby's like curled like, is inside of you, but you look down and you're like, there are scorch marks. There's a lot of scorch marks. Okay, I burned somebody. Good with that. So it wasn't just my bullshit. I'll comment on the fact they may have eaten people. <laughs> <laughs> so we slept burned, we slept eight, we slept and called forth elementals. I didn't know I could even do that. Is something trolling us in our sleep now? Oh goodness, I How hope not. I push it from here. Well, from what I understand from what the elemental said, they're protecting the green one, which I don't know, I guess, is me. I'm going to blame a lot of this on the big blood ritual going on in the same area as us. All I know but, is I don't like any of this. 
Well, I mean, if the Earth Elemental is on your side, then I'm guessing he might have cleared out a few rooms for us. I don't know about rooms, but he cleared out a few bodies. So, possible combination of elemental bullshit, whatever whatever level of bullshit is going on with Yedrin, because that was a whole new level of fucked up, and then fire bullshit from Rowan. Which, by the looks of it, was the tamest of the group. Ugh. I think something might be controlling us in this sleep. Because someone put, someone put me to sleep. You say that was a- You could outrun. You said it sounded like a little girl laughing? Yeah. It was, it was like a very high-pitched, like, giggle? Chimes? And then, that's all I remember. <laughs> and then waking up. I think something might be controlling us. Or at least yep. controlling some magical element of us. What Which, do you mean? I guess luckily there's not really any huge magical element, or my magical element taking up, you know, keeping me in the current state I'm in. Your magical element's tired. Yeah. Well, My magical Damn also does do straight! Shut up and bring me coffee. Not for you. Not for you. Alright. I think I'm gonna look around some more just to see if I see anything else that I did. Uh, with your I'm just gonna look, look for any kind of slash marks from my, uh, hammer. Kind or from my spear. <laughs> Rowan, as you go to look around, you step out of the room and head into the hallway, and you realize Dak, like, having gone out to investigate the thing and being distracted by the bodies that were in, the entire hallway is ash-lined. The stones are scorched and just blackened to soot. And you can see, like, her little footprints as they have come out. And it's only now that you're coming out and really looking for it that you notice it, because the stone around here was already black. But now you're, like, wipe a finger, and you're like, yeah, that's burned. Um, works. you look around, and you... Do you see the slash marks from what, from whatever the fuck happened with Yedrin's thing? But for you, nothing like a spear point or claw marks of that degree. However, as you kind of step towards the back, you stand there for a second and you're examining a few marks. And the next thing you know... An individual pops in from nowhere. He's like, ah! he just screams. It's like only half of his body appears, like split from head to groin in half. And he just flops. He's like, ah! oh, that so much. Why am I alive? And it's what clean. It's clean. There's no cut mark. There's no injury. He's just in half, and he's just screaming in agony and looking at you. KILL ME! <laughs> Covers her mouth and starts holding a screaming. Well, maybe he can tell us what happened before he died? What? I don't think we're gonna get an answer out of him with in that much pain. At that oh point, he rolls over and can't roll anymore. He's just laying flat against the ground. <laughs> I just get down. It's like it's like okay, calm down for three seconds. Tell me what happened, then I'll kill you. He's in half! What did you say? I said he's in half. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's just he's screaming in agony. I'm gonna auto feel fail my fortitude and go vomit in a corner. Do you wanna see him? Uh, 
I I'm gonna give him a mercy killing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like as you're like trying to calm him down, he's like, <laughs> I, 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 I walked in, door was open. I mean, everything seemed okay. I, you guys were asleep. I just wanted a glass of water. <laughs> 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 he goes, <laughs> hyperventilating. He goes, I didn't realize you were intruders. And I thought, like, okay, I'll take care of the big guy first. And I walked over to him, and then he vanished, and then a hand came out of nowhere. And man, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Everything went dark, and then the next thing I know, half of me was over there, and the other half was over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, Tart? Take, just takes out, takes out. Well, I still have my lance out. <laughs> wait, wait, Tart, is there anything you could do to help? <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad now. He just wanted water. <laughs> Sorry, Tart. He's like, <gasps> kill me, kill me! Ron, look away. I turn around and I turn back around. No, she's already, she's not looking, she's just puking. <laughs> I hold Dax's hair back. <laughs> and I, 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 I give him the mercy killing. As you go to pick up your spear to kill him, Kato, like, unconsciously raises his arm with the hammer in it and it just flies and smashes his head like a grape and then comes back <laughs> okay so boss so sleep murder is possible um so this is cuddle bullshit <laughs> that hammer is bad news <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. okay. There's about Poor baby. There's about forty seconds of silence after that. And then there's just seven heads pop up on top of each of the barrels. They're like <laughs> Just severed at the neck, sitting there, eyes like wide open, gaping, just staring at you like <laughs> How are they alive? I don't know uh, okay. Tart, stay out there. This at this point this, this is getting a bit ill and annoying. I think just if they're nicely lined up, swing with the axe. <laughs> They just, you just cut them through with the axe. Uh, what a dexterity. I was gonna say really, but okay. I mean, they aren't really held to anything, so. I was gonna say, I could just roll Coop to Gauss if you really want to. Oh no, it. I was having you roll a dexterity to see if you cut them sloppily so their heads like roll off, or if you cut them clean enough that it's just like, Aww. they just stay there. Um. Yeah, like, you, you cut them and, like, the heads just, like, flop over. I'm Gallagher! <laughs> At that point, yeah, Fionn's like, let's go- OH MY GOD! Fionn, it's probably best we... I have Kato before we go back to yeah. Kato just like mm, what and take the hammer away from him. he just stands up and he's like mm, what oh I'll see oh you. oh god oh oh god oh god <laughs> it's everywhere <clears throat> 
I was gonna say, do you want to stop and continue with their back so you can get their full reaction? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a good place to stop because it yeah. is midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it is because I don't know what's going on with Cat. Sounds like she had a night terror. 